just run. Yeah. So it's a good upset because uh, they're both a good player. Niv is definitely getting way better. Absolutely. Uh, it's good. It's good to have like another Yoshi. Our sprint hasn't been around here often, so. And this match will be ten and Raiga. Wow. Yeah. So we got hit dark pit. Like how he knew uh, when he was going to drop that a little jab combo there. Oh yeah, so like hit <laughs> Dark Pit versus Fox, like mm -hmm. because Fox is a sad character, <laughs> uh Dark Pit get decent combos on him for the majority of the time. Oh yeah, because of the fast haul. <laughs> yeah, when you're a fast faller, a lot of things work on you. Mm -hmm. Especially off stage, like being like dragged dragged around with like you know, like Bayo stuff and all that, but Tony's doing a good job bringing it back like <laughs> up tilt to up air. Yeah, he no, was just... down like 50% and he's already turned it around. Mm -hmm. And space in games, which is uh, 10's trademark. And then the edge guarding is his other trademark. Trump, but he can't find anything off the back air. And uh, good job on Raga turning it around. Stays control back. Yeah, pretty even game so far. Mm. Nothing too big to report yet. Oh, good snipe. Stuffing out the first attempt at the side B. Good, yeah, standard good force get up. smash on get up. <laughs> uh, Fox's force smash actually having like some frame that it just keeps lasting out even after it's been thrown out. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember being on the tail end of that. For uh, sure. That was a weird <laughs> down air. Mm -hmm. uh, he could have honestly just gone off stage and probably hit Fox. It looks like Raga's trying to find some sort of uh, follow up after the uh, short hop uh, down air. Yeah, I don't think he actually has an idea on like what to do off stage. He doesn't seem comfortable going off stage. Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah, he is mainly just throwing arrows off the side and just letting yeah, them do the work. Yeah, it's not a pit. You can't really angle them or anything. Right. Like, I mean, you can slightly angle them, but, like, it's nothing yeah, too drastic. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> okay. Alright. Can I just get off of the game? Yeah. I can stay on for a second. Right, so, it's pretty even game. Mm. Uh, 45-18. Uh, Raiga getting some good damage. Yep, and then 10 just inching his way back and uh, basically bridges the gap on percentages. And even so, he's just keeping pressure just by moving back and forth, not letting uh, Raiga know where to land on stage. Yeah, he's going to have to do a better job punishing the Fox type. I know it's kind of hard because it's kind of instant. And if you can't, like, stop it. Yeah, it is tricky to catch, but yeah, it right can now be He's keeping him off stage, which what you want to do against Fox. Yeah, these arrows are just not working. Mm -mm. So he should honestly just go out there with, like, a nair or something. Yeah, and Fox with his recovery, he'll get back pretty well odds most of the time. Yeah, especially it's it's like the most basic thing, but like it works because side B is kind of hard to punish. Exactly. A lot of times, especially if a character can't do it. All right, try to catch the two frame with up tilt. Retreats back to platform, but that will leave him vulnerable to a barrage of up airs. But uh, ten actually went on the platform. I don't know if an up if, if like Dark Pit's four smash would kill. I mean, it might, but who knows? Right. Um. All right, fourth throw. All right, good catch on the arrow. He's it's got a two frame. Right. It's got two hits, and maybe at this percentage, it might knock him out of the sweet spot of the final hit. No. All right, yeah. Good game with the arrow. Oh. Oh, good the flash, but nice the, pivot. Oh, wow. wow. Weird DI. Okay. All right, <laughs> so I'm going to leave you guys with uh, mini boss for some solo commentary. Mm-hmm. I'll be back eventually. Nice. Yeah, game one. Here I go. All right, hopping straight into round two. What was the stage pick? Going straight back to town and city. Actually, no. The first one was uh, Smashville. We got door. We got someone coming in. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me get the door for you guys. So we get the spill over. There we go. All right, pretty even. as from what I can see. Okay, now I'm back. And Walla actually did a really good job laying out the uh, the problems of that first round, and uh, it seems to be somewhat of a mirror of uh, the first round happening right now. Tim with his edge guarding, and uh, he was at a deficit, but he did pull it back a couple times, and uh, good recovery, going low to avoid any sort of uh, 
above or near uh, main level with the main stage of the edge guarding the fox. And uh, just about now, we if it's going to stay true to the first round. Oh, okay. Actually, 10 going a little more liberal with the, uh, the up air catches. Recognizing that Dark Pit will do a majority of his... Uh, well, no, he can hang in the air most of the time because Rygus seemed to be a little bit... I, w I don't want to say afraid, but just like second-guessing where he should land against Fox because uh, Fox is so fast he can just be wherever you are, wherever you land. And he has good uh, uh, anti-landing options, I guess. Yeah, and right now Ten's just chasing down. Raga finally catches with a little bit. I think that was down smash. I don't know. Probably weak hit of it, or maybe down tilt. Not. I'm not too familiar with Dark Pit. Going with side B. Good retreat back and forth though from Raga to get back to main stage after it, or uh, get back to ledge after it. And again, yeah, he can wait out a very long time, but I mean, Ten's just going to sit there. Playing very patiently, like what we saw from uh, what was that? What Wawa was playing uh, Marth against, uh, I believe it was Twana Knight. All he had to do was sit in a certain place and let uh, Twana Knight approach, and uh, we're also seeing that from Raiga approaching to the ledge and Tens just waiting patiently for the uh, the ledge option. But uh, as I was saying, it Raiga was able to claim first stock, but. Uh, because this is Fox, the stock on Raiga shouldn't be too far behind, but, you know, we've seen stranger things happen. Does push to main as well. But a back air will make my words come true. <laughs> and even though he's out of deficit, we saw him climb from deficit, so 10 is definitely not out of this. Especially with the pressure that he's trying to apply to Raiga. Raiga's, yes, he's playing a lot more pre uh, preemptively throwing out pivot grabs and just attacks in the air in the hopes that uh, 10 will rush into him and so far it has been paying off for him. A couple of up tilts, a couple more of those and it'll be even. But a uh, throw into an edge guard uh, little combo here should even it up as well if Raiga will give him the option for it. No, good retreat to platform. Gets a little breathing room but he does force out again because he tried to fall back very close to Fox again. And again, just the preemptiveness of that pivot grab is paying off for him. Tax on about 20-25%. Now we're playing very reactionary instead of preemptive. Very nice job. Forward smash. Not going to take just yet, but it's going to give uh, Raiga stage control this time. And again, as Wawa said before, just those uh, those arrows not proving too much of a hindrance for uh, tend to get back on stage. Down smash. Uh... Makes it back, but a side B on stage will be able to get the grab, and uh, Raiga will be able to claim 2-0. Very nice job, despite all the uh, the trouble he had edge guarding against 10, and 10 providing a very substantial wall as he is uh, wanting to do. Um, Raiga pulls it out. Very nice job.